Welcome back to day three of my experience of attending Dr. Joe Dispenza's advanced meditation retreat. I had probably the closest experience to God ever. Here is the best part of the learning that I can share with you. Take your notepads and write this down. He spoke about three dimensions of life and it confused the hell out of the group. Like all 2000 people were sitting like this, scratching their head. He says, by breathing, you have to go to a zone called, write this down, no one, nowhere, nobody, and nothing. I have the ability to kind of break things down. I will be able to show you that in just three steps and you'll understand everything. Welcome back to day three of my experience of attending Dr. Joe Dispenza's advanced meditation retreat. Day two was amazing, right? You learned about some crazy science behind how the mind works, how the body works, how our aura works, how our energy works. Day three was even more mind blowing. Because on day three, I learned about three different worlds. I knew about it in Indian mythology and science in different way. But today when I learned about it in the quantum physics way, blew my mind. 3D, 4D and the 5D world where if you learn how to systematically go to the 4D world, your manifestation power grows by 10 times. I learned about the concept of being nothing, nowhere, nobody at any point of time how I could experience that, what I experienced in that, what happened when I went to the 4D world. Stay tuned right now, watch through my entire experience in the video and then take a lot of notes in the comment section below right later. Tell me, what did you learn? What was your favorite part in today's video? But for that, make a lot of notes, okay? Ready? Let's begin. Welcome back everyone. Once again, day three, giving you some crazy experiences that happened today, but are you ready? Awesome. So let's begin. Uh, today morning, we started 6.30 a.m. with walking meditation experience. I had probably the closest experience to God ever. And this was that. Like, I don't think I have ever been closer to this, this close to that experience of being a God. And I'll explain how. And uh, good thing is, uh, I decoded the whole thing. I made a lot of notes. And the walking experience, the way it started was, believe it or not, we started with Chakra activation energy, exactly the way we do it in advance anyway. So it was very familiar for me. The first 15 minutes were beautiful. Then after 15 minutes, once all the chakras were activated, he was using some amazing music. Immediately after that, he asked us to start walking and he said, now walk with purpose. And then I started walking at full speed and because he said, walk with purpose. When I was walking after about three or four minutes, Every step, there was a feeling of I knew exactly what I'm doing in the next step. Yet every step, I didn't know where I was heading. So it was like a moment of clarity, but a moment of surrender in the same moment. Where I was not really looking forward to any more future realities. I was just so happy in the moment. And every step was clear and yet I didn't know what I was doing. So it was a beautiful experience of 100% clarity without even knowing where I was going. So that was the first part of the experience. As I kept going, as I kept going, at one point, uh, I remember in the music somewhere, he said, now, who do you want to become? Who do you want to be? And that was a moment, something hit. Like I just stood at one place and he asked me to breathe in a particular way, which I did. And I burst into tears. It was so crazy. I was crying at the top of my voice and... Um, when I, so I kind of got a little worried thinking, what are people thinking about me? So I opened my eyes suddenly and I looked around. There were 2000 people crying with me. Literally like 2000 people on the same road crying with me. I couldn't understand what was happening. So I just went back in my own zone. And uh, because he was in my headset, they had given us an audio about how we are supposed to do the walking meditation. He was guiding me in that audio. Just like, so how many of you remember DMP experience? That's 15 minutes. This was a one hour DMP in my ears. <laughs> when he was talking to me for one hour with some beautiful music going on all the time and he was guiding me. Excuse me. So after that experience, once I started crying, then he asked me, what do you want to be? Who do you want to become? I actually had a very, very visual clear experience where all the mentor mentors that I have ever met in my life, I could see each mentor in front of me and like, how many of you have ever used a MacBook when you minimize how that screen goes in, right? I actually could feel the visual person of every single mentor in my life. Tony Robbins, Joe Vitale, Sahil, Dr. D. Martini. I could visualize every single one of them and they used to just go in my heart. And then once all my mentors finished, here is the weirdest part that happened. 
I could visualize almost every single one of you. Every single one of you just going inside me. It was such a crazy experience. I could actually feel my heart filling up with every single one of you. And then immediately after all that filled up, it exploded back out. And then everyone just went out again. And yet I could experience that even though it went out, every single person continued to be part of me. And it was a beautiful experience. There, there was a sense of expansion in that moment that I had never felt before. And then he said, okay, now keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And this was a one hour experience that I'm describing to you in about five minutes. But in that one hour, there was not a moment I was not crying. The full hour, like tears are just rolling down because of the overwhelming joy, overwhelming gratitude, overwhelming love that I felt in every single moment. And then at one point he said, be worthy of receiving. Oh, that hit like crazy. I just stood at one place, opened up my arms and I just started allowing myself to be worthy of receiving who do I want to be and who, what do I want to do. And then the next point came, I kept walking, kept walking, keep feeling, keep feeling this. And in the next moment, he asked me another question. He said, so what do you want to do now? What is your destiny? And believe it or not, the answer was, my destiny is what I'm doing right now. Like this moment is my destiny. There is nowhere to go. This moment is perfect. This moment is beautiful. I was born for this moment. This moment is my destiny. Then he continued making me walk. Those tears kept happening. Overjoyed emotions kept happening. And at one point again, he asked me, he said, who are you? And weirdly, I said three words, which I haven't spoken for a long time. Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. And it felt weird. It felt amazing. I actually felt like at the same moment, I was Brahma, I was Vishnu and I was Mahesh. I felt like godly experience. And after that, he said, what are you ready for? And the only affirmation that came to me in that mind was, I'm ready to give. I'm ready to give. And then I walked at such pace. I was walking at full speed with every step saying, I'm ready to give. I'm ready to give. I'm ready to give. I'm ready to give. And then at one moment, he said, okay, now what are you ready to receive? And I said, the next affirmation that came to me was, all your love is mine. All my love is yours. All, my all your love is mine. All my love is yours. And I kept walking with that level of craziness in that moment went full on straight, 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 straight. And again, at one point, he said, so what are you ready to do? And that's the moment I just crashed. I just like literally just bent down on my knees. I bowed down to the universe and I was so filled with that feeling and that gratitude of everything that I was feeling, I couldn't stop crying. Eventually a volunteer came, she picked me up. She gave me a big hug. And I needed that hug at that moment. It was a beautiful experience. And she calmed me down. She said, breathe. Your body is getting used to these vibrations. You're going through perfect normal things. Just breathe. I started breathing. Got a little normal. Went to the room. This was one hour and 12 minutes when I looked at the clock. And till the time I reached the room, I was crying. And then finally, I calmed down in the room. I go, went to my second shower because... Although even I had already taken a shower before the walk, but my t-shirt was wet and uh, I was walking in the sun. So it was sweaty and crazy. Uh, plus the emotions were all going crazy. So I needed to just go take a shower to freshen up. So I took a shower, gave this entire download to Indu. And I told Indu, I said, you need to come here alone. <laughs> I'm not coming with you so that you can experience this kind of magic for yourself. So that was my experience in the, uh, the walking meditation. Then during the day, he taught quite a few things, but here is the, the best part of the learning that I can share with you. Take your notepads and write this down. He spoke about three dimensions of life and it confused the hell out of the group. Like all 2000 people were sitting like this, scratching their head. <laughs> like, And I ended up making a, like, most of these events, we end up creating a group, right? Like we spend time with a small group every day. So we ended up having a group of four people and we were sitting together and every five minutes, the way I tell you to repeat it or I tell you to write it down or I tell you to go to Zoom rooms, he asks us to do a recap between the group. And incidentally, because I have 20 years of law of traction experience, they were asking me to do a recap every single time. And the notes I'm about to tell you were two big, big whiteboards that were 100% full on his stage. He didn't even have one inch space left on that whiteboard by the time he finished explaining what I'm about to explain to you. 
Everyone ready? So the first thing he explained to us was something very beautiful. He said, we all live in the normal 3D world. Write this down. The normal 3D world. Now, what is the normal 3D world? The normal 3D world, like I explained a little bit about this yesterday to you, is called as the space-time world. What is the space-time world? I'll explain again. If you have a thought right now that you want to go to that room, uh, sorry, you want to go to that door, which is the entrance of my room right now, you have to get up from here, you have to go there, which means you have to, you have to cross space. There's a lot of space in between. You have to cross that. And while crossing space, you're passing time. So there is space and there is time. Is that right? Now, he went a little further from yesterday to this. He said, space and time is very slow frequency. If you remember yesterday, I showed you the matter frequency yesterday, very, very slow frequency. But he explained something beautiful. He said, space and time, can you make a guess? How much is space and time predictable? Can anybody give me a percentage in the chat window? How much of space and time is a predictable world where you can predict what's going to happen in the future? Make a guess. Okay. Logically speaking, 100%. 100%. How? Almost 100%. You take a flight from point A and you go to point B with that flight. Is it not predictable that if you take off on time and you fly at a particular speed, you will land at a particular time? How many of you agree with that? Correct? And if you predict the correct environment and everything, which we have the technology to nowadays, can you reach on almost the same time that has predicted? Yes or no? Yes. If you know how to sell, can you predict sales to a certain extent? Yes or no? Yes, you can. But he said, here is the problem. Because this is space and time, write this down, it is a world between known to known. It is a world between known to known, which means you start with a known knowledge of, if I do this, I will get this. So what are you getting from a known world of a knowledge? You're getting more knowledge, which is known world. So you will only get anything in life, which is logically possible. That's it, period. Nothing more, nothing less. Anything that goes beyond the laws of this world, Doctors will tell you, impossible. Scientists will tell you, impossible. Technicians will tell you, impossible. Normal people will tell you, impossible. Which is correct to some extent. Like if you go to a doctor with cancer, what is he going to say? To, to cure the cancer, what will you have to do? As per his knowledge, he'll say, do chemotherapy, do this, do this, do this. And then in three months, you'll do this. And then in six months, you'll do that. And then you'll get cured. Is that right? Okay, so that's the 3D dimension world that you and I live in. But in the 3D dimension world, everything is linear, which means everything is based on time and space, space and time, all the time. It's a very, very logical world. Yes, it is predictable. So it goes from known to known. But can it create magic? No, it cannot create magic, not in the 3D world. Why? Here's an example of that. He said the 3D world as per quantum physics is only 0.0001% of reality. Let us scientifically understand this. It's made of what? Cells. A cell is surrounded by a nucleus. Do you know that that cell which is surrounded by that nucleus, which has energy, do you know how much part of the cell is actually matter? And there is empty space in that nucleus. Do you know if you've read a little bit of physics, how much is in any one cell, how much empty space there is? Any idea? Check it up on Google later. How much matter does a cell have? how much empty space a cell has. It's 99.9999999% is empty space. And 0.00001% is matter. Every cell. So, quantum physics point of view, your body which looks so solid is, and not just your body, I'm talking about everything in the universe is made of energy and every energy has cells, right? Like this laptop that I'm holding right now looks solid. But if you look through a microscope, this laptop is also having energy and cells and all these atoms and neutrons and protons inside it, correct? At the core, this is also 99.9% .9 empty. That's it. Only 0.1% is reality. And this is physics point of view scientifically proven. You can go and research on it. So how much percentage of this is once again empty? 99% is empty. Everyone got that? So how much percentage is real? 0.1 percentage is real. So 0.1 mein kya to bana loge aap? 
what will you manifest? Because to manifest, if you remember yesterday, I said, you need a lot of energy. But in the 0.1% reality, everything is logical. There is no magic possible here. Everything which is possible is from known to known. So if you say anything unknown to people, which is logically not possible, what will they say? Not possible. Because this is the unknown world. So that is why people always ask this question. Because it's not in the known world. Okay. He says, now the second world, which is what we live in, I have named it Platinum 4D World. Please write this down. Platinum, he calls it 4D. I like to call it Platinum 4D World. Now, what is the Platinum 4 Dimensions World? The Platinum 4 Dimensions World is the 99% empty space where you're constantly living in the have that this is already done. Now, in the 99% empty space, it is not actually empty. You know what is there in that 99%? Can anybody tell me? Whenever we are meditating and we are saying, I have, what is there in the platinum 4D world? What is that 99.9999% empty, empty space? What is that? Tell me that. Exactly. Energy and frequency. Unused energy. Unused frequency. How much energy? How much frequency? 99.99% of the universe. Now, in that space, what can you create? What can you manifest? Anything and everything. In that four-dimension platinum world, there is magic. Why? It transcends time and space. Write this down. The platinum four-dimension world transcends space and time. Pe space or time, full speed. Mein hai. Full speed as in full speed. You remember yesterday, I gave you the example of three blades of a fan running at full speed. And now you can't see the three blades. That's because the vibrations of or the circulation of the three blades is so fast. Just like that in the platinum 4D world, the vibrations are so fast that space and time move super fast. And then to go from point A to point B, how much time can you take? It can be like this. And he explained something beautiful. He said, in the platinum 4D world, you don't go from point A to point B. Do you know what you do? You stay at point A, you visualize point B is already here and the point B comes to you. <laughs> and he said, that's why this is called as law of what? Attraction. It's not called law of working. It's not called law of achievement. It's not called law of going towards something. No, it's called law of attraction. If you stay where you are, things will come to you. And haven't I told you about my mentor Sahil who lives in one of the most expensive bungalows in the world? Uh, haven't I told you about Nitya Shanti who, who meditates all his life and yet he gets the best gifts in the world and he travels the whole world? Things come to these people because they don't live in the normal 3D world. They live in which world? They live in the platinum 4D world where they're living a platinum life because things come to them. They don't go to things. Now, the only problem is most people don't know how to go from 3D to 4D. Are you getting it? And here is the best part, he says now. How many of you want to know how to go to 4D world? The platinum 4D world. And he gave me two answers and one is more scientific. One is the answer we always give in platinum. The best way to attract is, I have. I have. Point B, I already have. Point C, I already have. Point D, I already have. So, jo hai, yahi hai. I have already reached here. So now I'm transcending space and time. And what will happen when you have transcending space and time? You will start creating full speed magic because vibrations are super high. And suddenly you'll meet the right people at the right time. Suddenly the right opportunities will show up. And that is why you'll observe in DMP, Advanced LOA, Platinum, results are happening so fast. Because you're vibrating in that space of I have. Now he says there is a faster way of reaching there, which is what he calls as coherent breathing. If you remember, I spoke to you about this company called Heart Math, which I had bought that machine 20 years ago, which is called Coherent Breathing, where you breathe in a way that your mind and your heart sinks in. And if you do that in a few minutes, your vibrations go so powerful. And then when you say, I already have, I already have, and then if you manifest in that zone, you are now manifesting in the 4D world. And when you manifest in the 4D world, how much energy is available in the 4D world? In the platinum 4D world, how much energy is available? 99.99% of the universe's energy and frequency. 
is this frequency now available for you? Yes. Can it manifest anything for you? Yes. But here's the point. He said to access that 4D world, you have to sit at one place. Close your eyes and do that coherent breathing. And now here is the weird part. He says, by breathing, you have to go to a zone called, write this down. Write this down. No one, nowhere, nobody and nothing. Okay. No one. So in that moment, who are you? When you're breathing and you're in one place, who are you in that moment? Are you manifesting in that moment? No, you're first breathing and you're just going to, you're, you're going to become Shunya. Beautiful, perfect answer, Sunana. How many of you understand the word Shunya has also been said in meditation many times by Gurus? Yes or no? So you go into that Shunya, which means you become no one. And where do you go in that moment? Do you go to the future? Do you go to the past? Where do you go? Nowhere. You're here. You're in the present moment. And what are you manifesting? Nothing. <laughs> and who are you? Nobody. Right? So you are no one. You are not going anywhere. So you're not going anywhere. So you're nowhere. And there is nothing you want in that moment. And you are nobody. And in that moment, he said, if you remain there long enough, and now you manifest in that space, you have already reached the platinum four dimension world. And in that moment, when you manifest, you're using that 99.99% frequency, which is the emptiness, where now, from no one, you can become what? You can become what from no one? Everyone. From nothing, you can achieve what? Everything. From nobody, you can become whom? Everybody. And from nowhere, you can reach where? Everywhere at the same time. You'll be so fast in life. And that's the magical world we are talking about. And then I remembered in Indian mythology, do you remember during Mahabharata times and Ramayana times, there were talks about people would be able to move from one point to another point just by closing their eyes and saying, I'm going there and they just go there. Teleportation in English it is called. Anybody knows what is teleportation? How many of you remember that serial called Star Trek in childhood? Where they would go into a certain moment and they just disappear and they'll just come to another place, right? That was possible in Indian mythology because they had the time, they had the uh, the ability to transcend time and space and materialize somewhere else. How many of you remember yesterday I spoke about this book called Autobiography of a Yogi? Do you remember that book? So, in that book, there is a conversation where Yogi says that his guru, who was no more, had the ability to come from light energy back into material form, so much so that his body had materialized again. He could smell him, he could feel him, he could see him. His guru spoke to him and his guru even gave him complete understanding on where he was and who he was living with in the higher dimensions. And then he transformed into light again and he disappeared. Now, these conversations were already there in these mythological books. Yes or no? So, he's talking about the 4D world, the platinum 4D world where you live in. But how do you access that world? Where everything is possible. Where you can become everyone, everything, everywhere, everybody. How do you go there? By you first being no one, nowhere, nobody and nothing in the first moment. The problem is, we are so consumed by our goals that we are, where are we constantly living? Tell me. Tell me where are we constantly living? Past. <laughs> and because we are living from the past, what are we recreating in the future? Past. So what are we living into? What do we keep saying in advance LOA? Patterns. We keep living in the same pattern again and again and again and again and again. You live in a loop. Yes or no? He said, if you really want to transcend that, in the 4D world, you go from unknown to unknown. Write this down. You remember in the 3D world, I said known to known. In the 4D world, it's about unknown to unknown. Why? Because when you manifest in the moment of unknown, you remember first you got to go to the unknown moment. No one, nowhere, no, nobody, nothing. First you go into that space and then you manifest. 
in that moment, do you know how it's going to manifest? So you're starting from an unknown moment. You're just saying, I have. And what will manifest? How it will manifest? Is that known or unknown? It is unknown. So you go from unknown to unknown. The problem is, every time people manifest, in a couple of days they ask a question. What is that question? When will it happen? How will it happen? Will it happen? The moment you ask that question, what happens? You're going back to the 3D world. How many of you remember that serial in like childhood called Vikram Vital? Anybody remembers that serial, Vikram Vital? And Vikram was the king and he would go to catch that ghost called Vetal and he would find him in the jungle and he will put him on the shoulder and Vetal said, okay, I will come with you on one condition. I will tell you a story and you have to listen to the story the whole time. Vikram says, okay, easy, I can listen to the story. He said, no, 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 there is a condition. On the way, if you speak even one word, you'll have to start all over again. And every single time in that story, the story is so interesting that Vital tells to Vikram that eventually Vikram has to ask something out of curiosity. And every time Vikram asks a question, what happens? Vital is gone. <laughs> now, who's the Vikram here? You are. And who's the Vital here? The 4D dimension world that says, Tu bola, me chala. <laughs> now that's the biggest mistake we do we keep asking that question so I remember I was I think I gave you this example yesterday also that Hindu tells me many times Aaj to thoda kaam kar le, kitna picture and I tell her every time I said jitna picture dekhta hu, utna paisa aata hai. because I'm living in the zone that I have already achieved everything and trust me the more work hard work I have done during that zone, our income has come down. If you don't believe me, check with Hindu. Every single time I've worked hard, my income drops. Every single time I am effortless, income goes more. Why? Because am I operating in the 3D world or the 4D world now? Yeah, I am in the platinum 4D world where I am truly, truly believing that I've already achieved everything. Now, is this the same as being lazy? Is this the same as being lazy? No, don't misunderstand me. You can be in the 3D world completely lazy, constantly desiring things, feeling desperate, beating yourself. I will do it. I want to do it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm not doing it. Regret, planning. Do you think all of this is 4D? No. In the four dimension world of platinum, what are you feeling? Give me words. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? I have, yes, but what are you feeling? Give me words that you're feeling. Calm, love, satisfaction, content. Now, relaxed, all of these emotions that you're feeling in that platinum 4D world, obviously because of that, what is the speed of vibrations of love versus regret? What is the speed? Super high. Like the fan going at full speed. So at that speed, what is going on with the speed of vibrations and the manifestation then? Crazy high. But in the 4D world, the condition is what I told you yesterday, the number one rule of law of attraction. Don't ask how, don't ask when, otherwise 4D will go away. And you'll come back to 3D. And the moment you come to 3D, you're back into which zone? Space and time. Time will move very slow. Which emotions will you experience in the 3D normal world? Which emotions? Desperation. Suffering. Right? There will be no tears of joy. There will be tears of pain. Impatience. Worried. Possessive. Jealous. Comparison. Are we getting this? Self-doubt. Are these emotions which are very light in frequency or very heavy in frequency? That is why you feel very heavy in these emotions. Yes or no? And when these emotions feel heavy, tell me, do you think time flies when you're feeling regret, when you're depressed? No. Every moment feels like an hour. How many of you agree with that? Feels like a day. Passing time becomes difficult. So now people want to commit what? 
suicide thinking that if they commit suicide they'll get mukti from this 3d world but if they commit suicide even though they leave this body their emotional soul is still having the pattern of living into which world 3d world and now here is the weird part when you leave this body and your soul goes into a different dimension because now you don't even have the body to support you and you still have that negative emotional pattern your emotions are going to hit you harder than 100 times more than it did when you were in your physical body that is why they say people who die with unfulfilled desires they they get tortured in the non living zone why because now the body is also not there to protect them so all the emotions are hitting them directly so that's why they say when a person dies don't think bad about them because anything you're thinking bad about them they're feeling that 100 times more powerful than they did when they were alive so if you want to feel positive it's good time to feel positive when they die because again they're feeling those positive emotions 100 times stronger when they die question i'm trying to ask you is will committing suicide help you to escape the 3d world or will it make it worse yeah, it will make it worse. So, all of you who had already planned to commit suicide, popat, kuch nahi hone wala commit karke suicide. <laughs> okay, big popat. Ulta or double ho jayegi problem. So, now you decide. <laughs> you want to commit suicide and get a big popat and then come back to this real life again and go through the whole journey again. Or you want to just be here and go to the 4D world right now. What do you want to do? Just go to the 4D world. And the beauty is to go to the 4D world. Who do you need to become right now? Do you need to become a magician? Do you need to become a scientist? Do you need to become successful? Do you need to become a husband? Do you need to become a wife? No. No one. No one. Kuch banne ki zaruri. That's the best part about the 4D world. You don't need to become anyone. Where do you need to go? To go into the 4D world. Nowhere. Nowhere. What do you need to achieve in the 4D world? Nothing. And you don't need to be anybody. You can be nobody. And if you can be in that moment of nothingness for some minutes, you will touch that space, space, which is unlimited, which is the 99.99% of the universe, which is in your brain, it's in your body, because your body is how much reality? As per physics, 0.1%. 99% of your body is what? Empty frequency. So the moment you become nobody, no one, nothing and nowhere, you're, you now go into that space of 99% where you can become what? From no one to everyone. From nowhere to everywhere. From nothing to everything. From nobody to everybody. <laughs> so what's possible in the magical world? Everything. And how fast can it happen? The difference is, can you find out how it will happen? Can you find out when it will happen? No, because it's going from which world to which world? Unknown world. To the unknown world. Question is, how many people really want to go beyond your known world? And how many of you really want to achieve some unimaginable results? Raise your hands, please. Some magical results. But then the question is, are you ready for the unknown world? Or you want to go back to the comfort zone of knowing what you already know and achieving what you predictably achieve. But then you go back to the 3D world. And even if you achieve what you want to achieve, you will still remain in those negative emotions and the pattern will continue. Is this ex explanation making sense now? Normal 3D world, platinum 4D world. Known to known, unknown to unknown. In the known world, 0.1% manifestation. In the unknown world, how much manifestation? 99.9999% per chances because frequency is super, super, super high. Then he told us about the fifth world. The fifth world is what he calls as 5D world, which is in a way also called as quantum 5D world. The reason it's called quantum, in Indian mythology, in English, it's called as omnipresence. Omnipresence means what? In the omnipresence, how many of you remember yesterday's diagram I showed you, there was a flat line on the top. Do you remember that flat line on the top? 
in that flat line, if you say, read carefully, who are you in the 5D world? Are you no one or already everyone? You are already everyone. In that 5D world, do you need to be somewhere or are you everywhere? You are everywhere. Do you need to become something or you are already everything? So, in the 5D world, you are omnipresent. In the 5D world, you are God. In the 5D world, I now remember during my walking meditation when I was asked in the audio, who you are, I said three words. Anybody remembers those three words? I said, I'm Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. In that moment, the reason I cried so much because I could feel the presence of God so much. You remember I told you this was the, the closest I felt to God. You remember that? The reason was because I felt like I was God in that moment. I was omnipresent and I could actually feel the whole universe in that moment. Now that is possible at the 5D world. At the 5D world, do you need to go anywhere? Do you need to achieve anything? How many of you want to go to the 5D world? Here is the problem. Most people are scared of the 5D, 5D world. Because in India, we also call it the spiritual world. And most people are scared of the spiritual world because they say, Oh, but we will not materialize here. Then we will not do any work. Then we will not do any goal. No, 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 we will not become spiritual. But you can't directly go to the 5D. It's like you can't directly go to the 5th floor. You're going by stairs. So you're going from third floor to fourth floor, from fourth floor to fifth floor. So if you want to become everything, you know what you have to become first? Nothing. If you want to be everywhere, you know where you have to go first? Nowhere. <laughs> See, that is the weird part. That you have to first go to nowhere to go to everywhere. You have to first become nothing to become everything. You have to first become no one to become everyone. How many of you think this is crazy? Like this just blew our mind about how he explained scientifically what manifestation is. And of course, when he explained this, this was more complex. Two whole whiteboards were full of this. But this was the simpler way of understanding 3D, 4D and 5D world. Now from today onwards, which world do we want to live in? You want to live in the 3D world or the platinum 4D world? Which, which world do you want to live in? Well, if you want to live in the P4D world, which is the platinum 4D world, then it's very simple. During the day, multiple times, become what? Nobody. <laughs> Go where? Nowhere. Try to achieve what? Nothing. <laughs> Just sit at one place, close your eyes and go into that moment of completeness as if you are nobody, nowhere, nothing, no, no, no one. Nothing. Just go in that moment. And when you are in that moment for at least a few minutes, now manifest from that space because that's 99.99% .99 energy. And in that space, whatever you manifest becomes real because in that 99.9%, .9 what can you create? Who can you become? From no one to everyone. From nothing to everything. From nobody to everybody. And from now to everywhere. Is that right? And it will happen at speeds which you cannot imagine. So, to give you a last example here, how many of you remember in Advanced Aloe, we talk about limiting beliefs. Do you remember that? What is a limiting belief? Show me with your hands. What is a limiting belief? It's a frequency. A limiting belief is a frequency. But that frequency, is it a 0.1% illusion or is it a 99.99% .99 reality? Is it the 3D world or is it the Platinum 4D world? Yeah, it's the 3D world. And in the 3D world, is that limiting belief correct? In the 3D world, is that limiting belief correct? Yes or no? Yes. Example, if I am not educated, I won't get a job. Is that correct in the 3D world? Yes or no? Okay. That is why parents are worried about children. Because they are like, Padega nahi, to kuch karega kaise aage? Job nahi milegi, ladki nahi milegi. <laughs> Because constantly everything is very logical, known to known, known to known. Now, if you let go of your limiting beliefs for the sake of letting go, and if you are willing to believe as a consideration, 
वट इज अंसिडरेशन यू रिमेम्बर कंसिडरेशन इज कंसिडर तो करो सोचो तो सही कंसिडर दैट आई एम नॉट एजुकेटेड बट आई कैन स्टिल बी सक्सेसफुल एंड नाउ डोंट जस्ट कंसिडर इट से वॉट आई एम आई एम आई एम एंड इन दैट जोन वॉट्स पॉसिबल एवरीथिंग इज पॉसिबल is that now making sense how if you let go of your limiting beliefs and if you are willing to consider magic you can achieve anything in life but i am coming to the point again you cannot create magic in the 3d world because there is how much energy in the 3d world 0.1% and if you want to create magic where do you have to go from 3d world to everyone write down p4d platinum 4d world now for the p4d world again who do you need to become first no one where do you have to go nowhere what do you need to achieve nothing and does it make a difference whether you are somebody no you can be nobody at that time close your eyes relax your heart rate go into the alpha frequency breathe and now you're in that 99% world you've touched it now you manifest now you can become everyone everywhere everything anything make sense i remember today in the morning when i was in that 4d world while doing the walking meditation that world the last question that he asked me just blew my mind totally blew my mind how many of you don't know i've spoken about this one particular part of my life where uh, the only struggle between my relationship with indu is lack of sexual intimacy because of her health problem first few years lack of sexual intimacy was not because of health problem because of lack of compatibility in physical intimacy where she didn't feel the need or the desire for sex so much but i felt it very strong anybody remembers in relationship mastery i told you what is the reason behind high sex drive in women uh, sorry high sex drive in men and low sex drive in women testosterone levels are very comparatively different right for women the testosterone levels are between 15 to 75 maximum goes up to like 100 for men it starts at 750 goes up to like 1050 so mind blowing difference point is we couldn't obviously at that time i was not educated in this because i was not educated in this my expectation was very strong she was obviously not able to fulfill the expectation because she was obviously like a woman vibrating at the frequency between 15 to 75 at testosterone level she was just not able to feel it and i was hating her why were you not feeling it like what is wrong with me because if you remember i taught you in relationship mastery when men get rejected physically they get emotionally rejected and they feel i am not lovable because while women are emotionally physical men are what men are physically emotional so that was a huge struggle period for me thanks to sahil thanks to dr arora they trained me onto this mentored me onto this and i got peaceful but a time came when indu manifested or rather it got manifested in her life a problem in her body because of which now sexual intimacy was not technically possible for us anymore by then we had transcended to a point in our relationship where now she is completely fine with having as much sex as i want her to have but now she cannot physically she just cannot and it's painful now so i said okay now we can't have it so again now just when i thought indu is psychologically ready what happened physiologically she was not ready now because it's not possible for her. so again i went down so which world was i still living in in the 3d world and that is one area i have been grappling with for many many years and and i have my own ways of coping up with it i i recover from it very fast that's a different story but i've been grappling with that frequency of needing sexual intimacy for a long time and i didn't tell all of you this but i want to tell you this now one of my primary reasons to coming into the joe dispenza workshop was a pure intention was to transcend this frequency of vibrating at frequency 1 2 and 3 you remember i told you first day that he taught us that all our desires all our desperations all our goals comes from which chakras chakra 1 2 and 3 and i and i had learned this before i came to his workshop so i said okay i i want to finally just get rid of this desperation and i want to go above this third chakra so today during the walking meditation the last question he asked me in the end you remember i told you in the end i broke down very badly the last question he asked me was what do you want your body to feel and my answer was i want to feel that orgasm he said create the feeling now in that 4d world i was i was in that world for one hour he said create the feeling now 
and believe me i had a mind orgasm that i cannot explain to you it was 100 times better than sex it was a thousand times better than sex and then i remembered my mentor sahil who said if you know how to transcend your energy and how to use your sexual energy upwards rather than downwards the orgasms are 100 times better i could never logically logically i understood it but experientially i never understood that today i could feel it and i think for the first time i was able to truly truly transcend it what i'm trying to tell you is all your suffering is a lie <laughs> because all emotions are what all emotions are lies and you can really really become the manufacturer of those emotions at the platinum 4d world so how many of you are now ready to go to that 4d world where you become no one first and then slowly you go to the 5d world eventually over a period of years and you become everyone everywhere everything all the time and you become omnipresent one day how many of you ready for that 5d world one day today one of the other things he also taught us was how to have mystical experiences which means how do you meditate in such a way that you start having mystical experiences of what kind can anybody predict what kind of mystical experiences can you have if you do meditation in the right way what kind of mystical experiences can you have okay if you're thinking of an answer give yourself a tapu because if it is mystical which world is it known or unknown unknown so you're not supposed to know <laughs> what kind of a mystical experience because then it would not be the unknown world <laughs> it would again be the 3d world in the 3d world can you have unknown experiences no you can only have known predictable logical possible experiences if you want mystical you got to cross the 4d first but for that you got to be nobody nothing nowhere nothing and in that moment you don't need to achieve anything how many of you can now be what i can say is lazy in a beautiful way in a graceful way where in one moment you can just say theek nahi karna kuch mere ko i can be nobody in this moment i can be nothing in this moment i can be nowhere in this moment and it's okay to not achieve, not achieve anything in this moment but you know beautifully i experienced today when i was saying this in the 4d world in the walking time in the walking meditation today do you really think i was lazy no in that zone i was so driven i was so driven i couldn't believe it like i was just walking and walking and walking and yet i was not going towards something i was in the moment every single moment and in that moment i could create anything i want and in that moment i ended up creating a virtual reality of what i really want to manifest and that virtual reality is parallelly now existing in the world and when the frequency is right it will materialize is that making sense now i was in that walking meditation able to manifest things which were thousand times bigger than my existing goals i became something and someone which is thousand times bigger than my past understanding of what i can become all my limiting beliefs were broken all my reality just disappeared and i was able to become everyone everything everywhere every time in that moment but i started with no one i started with nothing i started with nowhere i started becoming nobody first all right did you love today's video on day 3 experience of dr joe dispenza's my experience in his meditation retreat oof it was crazy right like the power of intention which he shared about how when you put your right intention specifically in the right zone like instead of being in the 3d world where only time space and logic is there you go into the 4d world and then there is no time no space no logic only magic makes so much sense all the law of attraction techniques that i have been teaching for so many years i always knew it worked but to see the science behind it to understand the science behind it wow it was so satisfying i can't tell you right so keep tuned with me because on day 4 i actually experienced what is my destiny i discovered my destiny and it was so simple that it is mind blowing So make sure that you stay tuned for my next video of my day 4 experience of attending his meditation retreat but how do you know when is my next video coming in hit the subscribe button jaldi se and make sure that you hit the bell icon so you get a notification for it and hey if you have friends who are fans of dr jodis spenza if you have friends who are manifestation fans share this video with them let's spread the message so that we can bring dr jodis spenza very soon to india okay see you soon in my next video